Hi, welcome back. Um, mod 1, how did it go? Well, I did a week's training. Um, first day and a half, I was back on a 125, a white Yamaha, which I'll insert here. Um, went all right. It was kind of like doing a CBT again, getting used to the bike. Uh, the Tuesday afternoon, got on a 650cc, biggest bike I've ever ridden. It was a Suzuki Gladius, real old bike. I'll put a picture of it here. And yeah, it felt a lot better to ride than a 125. It felt much more stable. I was much more comfortable on it. And for a big bike, I, I was scared to start with. But I soon got used to that, mainly that Tuesday afternoon. Riding around the cones, doing the slalom, figure of eight, U-turns, um, slow, controlled speeds, you know, four or five miles an hour, that sort of thing. Went okay. Following day, the Wednesday, out onto the roads. Shit myself to start with, but it was fine. Kind of got used to it really quickly. Did okay. Uh, rained every single day, because of course we've had the two storms, one of them being Eunice. Absolutely horrendous weather, freezing cold, windy when you're getting up at, on high places. You can feel bike twitching around, but did that all right. Uh, lots of more cone practice, high speed maneuvers. Biggest high speed maneuver that frightened me was swerve. But I soon got used to that, and actually, when you sort of realise you can have faith in the tyres and you're not going to fall over if you lean, well, I suppose you will, but generally, you're not going to fall over. Yeah, it went all right. I got pretty confident at it, but that was the bit I was worried about on the CBT. So the C not the CBT, the DAS one. So the DAS one was Friday afternoon. That was when Storm Eunice really hit. Um, we're about to set off at one o'clock to go to the test centre at Wakefield, and it got closed. Uh, they stopped all Mod ones. I don't know about north of Yorkshire. But certainly Yorkshire and South, they'd stopped them all. It was creeping up the country as the day went on where they were stopping them. So Mod 1 cancelled. Till Sunday. They had an opening Sunday, but a different one at Weatherby. Uh, so I went there. I did that. What was it like? Well, I couldn't I couldn't understand what instructor was trying to tell me half the time. So I got them to repeat it and repeat it and repeat it until it was drilled in here. I got round. I did the, the course wasn't particularly worried about much other than the high speed maneuver i suppose the speed trap i was a bit worried that i didn't get up to speed but as it turned out when i went through from the emergency stop it was going at 61 kilometers an hour is what it registered emergency stop was fine and it was 60 odd kilometers an hour for the swerve as well which went fine um i got on me observations in and went back and I was told right go over there they don't give you any clues to what happened then he pulled into an office and the lady that did the test was really nice and she said congratulations you've passed your mod one and I passed it with no fault so I'm really pleased about that my gear Jeans were fine, I wore, I wore the Oxford ones, I wore the John Thomas jacket, which is fine, it was incredibly waterproof for what it was, but the weather was so bad that I did put a waterproof jacket over the top of it when it got that bad. Waterproof bottoms, well, I, I got pissing wet through on, on my, in my crotch area, so I went and bought some more waterproof, some John Thomas ones actually, they're you know, supposed to be waterproof. Again, pissing wet through at the crotch. Don't matter, I'll take them back and get the money back. They were 20 quid, so I want the money back for them because they don't do the job. So I'm really pleased to pass mod one. Uh, fabulous news. Next is mod two. Couldn't do it same day. You have to pass mod one before they can get you or book your mod two. Um, but driving schools buy a lot of slots and put the courses in to match the slots. So the next available for me, uh, relating to work, time off and everything, is... 10th of March on an afternoon uh, I'm a bit nervous about it but who wouldn't be so as long as I can do my show and, show and tell questions basically drive safely on the road 
making sure I get my observations in, doing my mirror checks, over the shoulder, going around the roundabouts correctly, stopping at stop signs and treating them as stop signs and not give ways. I think I should be all right. I think I think they're about 20, 30 minutes out of the course, something like that. So providing I can get that done, I should be all right and I'll be on my way and then to a new bike. So I'll be doing a big reveal video on what I'm getting. Let's see what happens, eh? All right, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, let's see what happens with Mod 2. And I wish everybody all the best. Take care.